They call me a racist. Oh my god, it is episode 56? 56. 56 of the Key Bar Drinking Podcast. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Holy shit, everybody. Today, we got a special guest today. It is Josh Creedon. Whoa, hey. whoa. Holy shit, Josh dude. Josh Glad to be here. Fuck this. Let's get right into it, dude. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I was... Re- what I, A trend that's happened the last, like, five episodes <laughs> is you say, like, episode 53, and it looks like 54. Yeah. Like, every episode, you're just one behind, and then you... I was so looking forward to that happening, and you nailed it. Yeah, You just dude. said the exact right episode. Oh, also, y- yeah, Josh is a, upsetting. Josh is an avid listener of the Loyal. pod, dude. Josh Loyal listener. To the pod. Loyal, yeah, so there's, like, a make-a-wish thing for him, huh? Yeah, my <laughs> Listen, here's the, I haven't told you guys this, but I'm about to die. So I'm, this is great. This is great. Imagine being, imagine being somebody's heroes. <laughs> Us? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make a wish was like, we don't need, so we don't need to be involved. You can just, you can just get that done. You can get that and be like, yeah, I guess I can, we, I'll handle it. Yeah, it's fine. You, you get a bill? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can I, can we I do paid. a podcast in a van with these guys? <laughs> Yeah, I think we can handle that. <laughs> yeah, we can. We kind of already paid for the trip to Disneyland. But I guess. Yeah, I guess the van. I we'll do the van. Yeah, <laughs> dude. You know what's funny? Um, like, you know how he's like a, a celebrity. Don't call uh, me that. Dude. I thought he was just Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Josh gets celebrities and Mexicans confused. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a confused. weird thing. Yeah, exactly. I go to any Mexican. I'm like, wow, I love your work. <laughs> yeah. He goes up to like LeBron James. <laughs> you're Mexican. <laughs> you're Mexican. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Like you're tall a, Mexican. So he's a <laughs> big fucking. Man. Yeah. But uh, so I he gets recognized sometimes. I'd never seen him get recognized. I didn't uh-huh. believe it for the longest time. <laughs> no, just and then up. one time. Finally, because I, I was like, well, they would know because I'm in all of his vlogs or a lot right. of them. So, so I'd you're be like, like, they would be like, oh, these are the guys. Yeah. <laughs> and it just happened last week. And someone was like, this girl came out of this bar and she was like, oh, my God, you're the guy. You're the van guy. You're the guy. And she turns <laughs> to me and she guy. goes, and you're Luke Davis. <laughs> And That's I was like, so oh my god, they don't know his name. <laughs> but she just nailled your She's name. She's like, yeah, because yeah, I'm in a... Oh, look, Davis. <laughs> You're bad. the guy who yeah. lives in the van, lives in the squalor. You're the guy, $100, and you are Luke Davis. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Yeah. I'm like, because I go around saying all my friends' names before I ever get to say mine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're like, I, you know who I am. And it's like, everyone's like, honestly, I'm not too sure who you are. I need to, <laughs> dude, I'm the guy behind the camera, guy. <laughs> We're a little, you're a little shady. <laughs> you know who I am. <laughs> come with me on my adventure. <laughs> that's, that's you know, so funny. Like, come look at my van. You'll find down. <laughs> here, yeah. here, not, let's, let's, get, let, let's give Josh a little introduction. You said, you said, ah, oh, Josh Creighton. Now let's get into my story. No, no, no. no, no my no. story. No, I was gonna talk shit on this piece of shit, dude. Oh, okay. oh yeah. No, this because, is what happened last night. No, wait, hold up. He's but, a comic. He's from Denver. He's very funny. I'm from San Diego. He's from San Diego. I just moved from Denver. Oh, uh, okay. He moved to Denver. <laughs> then he moved from Denver to New York. This yeah. guy's from nowhere. I'm from, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm from everywhere. This guy's That's a rolling stone. Predominantly white. That's He's where just I'm trying from. to run away from his kids. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just trying to get away. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Wait, what up. are you running from, Josh? <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Yeah. There's, 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 there's a new segment we call "Uncovered Secrets." He keeps going yeah. places to establish himself as a new comic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that everyone's like, been doing I've been doing it for fifteen years. Fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everyone's like, "Wow, this guy's pretty good." He's like, "Yeah, you know, eight months." <laughs> yeah, just, like, just brand new. Well, you like, haven't wrote a, written a joke. <laughs> Obama was in office. I go from scene to scene, killing the best up and coming comics, yeah. taking their jokes, and then I move to a new scene. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, good thing me and Frankie are safe. Right, exactly. We stink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an honor to be killed by me and yeah. have your jokes stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, hey, I'm, I'm. Go ahead. Huh? I'm gonna get into. Uh, wait, yeah, do so, it. Did you have a hot riff? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you gonna spew a fucking steaming one? Huh? Yeah. Uh, all right, here's uh, a quick introduction of Josh. This is how we actually met in Denver, dude. When I was driving to New York for the listeners, I was driving because you know this, right? Yeah. Josh, you know this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you guys know how you, how you met? Uh, well, Josh. Denver, Scruffy Murphy's Tuesday Night Mike. Yeah, all right. So I was driving to New York. I fucking ran into Josh. You I'll, saw him go up. No, I didn't see you go up. No, I, I didn't go up. There. I probably wouldn't have talked to him if yeah. I saw him go up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see him go up and he tries to talk to me. <laughs> that, no, that's actually a great joke. Where that's does the wind end? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I met you. 
And I was going to New York that weekend just to visit for the first time ever. <clears throat> so yeah, so we met. It, it was I was leaving. I was leaving Denver to drive to New York, and I was gonna get to New York in like three days driving, right? Mm-hmm. Or like two days or some shit. And then this one goes. I'm gonna be in New York on Friday, so we're gonna get. We're gonna come here at the same time. And then I, and then we like hit it off. We fucking made out a little bit. Mm-hmm. I get to New York. And then he didn't you get high when you were there? You I did get yeah, high. Yeah, dude, and you I, freaked out and you were like, "I gotta go home, <laughs> dude." Yeah, and I found out later it's because it was the altitude. Oh, the altitude. Oh, like, and call it getting high in Colorado. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I spoke yeah. a little. I don't. First of all, <laughs> Do you ever get high and you just feel like a little girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check the altitude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, well, first of all, I don't smoke. So then I, I get to Colorado. I'm like, "Oh, I'm a nomad now. I can smoke a little bit." Then I'm just like, oh fuck! I gotta move back to California. I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> with my life. <laughs> so anyway, so so me and Josh meet in uh, Denver. He says he's gonna come to New York on Friday. I'm like, I'm, I'll be there on Friday. We exchange phone numbers. I get to New York. We call each other. We meet here, and then for like my first week in New York, I hung out with this guy. So me and this guy go a ways back, which is like a year. So he was like your first New York friend, and he wasn't even in New York. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. exactly. We hung out, right. dude. I was in. I was when you texted me when you first got here. I was in bed at like ten, ten thirty. I was literally in bed PM. trying to fall asleep. Yeah, PM. And I was in bed, and you're like, dude, come hit this mic with me at Cellar Seventy Seven. Yeah. Right. And I was like, ah, uh, I was so tired, but I was like, this is what I came here for. So I jumped out of bed, and then we were out until like four a.m. Like we, we went to we went to the cellar. For the first time ever, so, so, saw yes. David Tell close out like the late late show at like three a.m. or whatever, cool. and it was, it was sweet. Yeah, yeah, it was so fun. It was the best first day of New York of my life. Anyways, this is wholesome and not funny at all. Did you guys yeah. hold hands? Huh? No, I we wish. just we just kissed. Yeah, <laughs> hold, hold each other's mouths. Right, so, so now that the pleasantries are out of the way, this piece of shit, dude. <laughs> so so I, I was gonna, I was gonna talk about this in your apartment, but he was like, let's save it for the pod. Cause, yeah, cause I said I, it just like that. It sounded just like me. Yeah. Because I think he has something up his fucking sleeve. No, but, I don't. All right. Right, good. This will happen. Close We're, up magic. Th- this idiot. Other than some dude. nice strong biceps. Like goo. Like goo. Don't squeeze them. All right. <laughs> 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 Squeezes squeeze, squeeze like through my bone. See your form gets inflated. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's like water. Just yeah. my fingers just pop up. <laughs> So we wa- we walk by a Spectrum store, you know the, the cable store that that uh, brings entertainment and Ethernet yeah. and services to uh, houses all around the world. To houses, Spectrum. all around the world. Yeah, Spectrum. Spectrum, Spectrum. You Spectrum. Brought to you by Spectrum. What are the rates for that? <laughs> <laughs> you probably well, well with promo code keep on trucking. <laughs> You get you get two percent off. <laughs> <laughs> the game was a really bad promo. Code. <laughs> you get Spectrum in here. No, so so we're walking by, <laughs> we're walking by this year, and then Josh goes, "How does this store even stay open?" <laughs> no, 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 I don't think I said that. I think I said, oh, maybe I did say that. He said, "How?" Does when this you guys st- first were here? No, 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 no. It was it was last night. Okay. Yesterday, it was last night. He walked. We walked by the <laughs> store, and he he goes, like he's just trying to riff, just fucking grasping. No, it wasn't trying to riff. Just, it was a real thought he's I had. Just grasping at the air, dude. No, <laughs> no, dude. No, what happened was we're walking past it, and we're on like West Fourth. It's like prime real estate, and it's this huge brick and mortar Spectrum Mobile store. Yeah. And I'm like, who the hell is buying? From this place, like how, what are they, what is rent cost here? This is just insane. What is the value of this? And he just lays into me. He's like, you idiot. <laughs> this is a billion dollar company. Like he's angry at me. Like, it's, like his, it's like his family founded Spectrum. And he was like, how dare you doubt us? Yeah, okay, now, here's what I, I like, don't what understand. Is- why did you have to tee that up with the story of meeting Josh? Oh, no, well, good, because, to... well, because you said let's introduce him. <laughs> oh, okay. And then I said that, so uh, I yeah, introduced yeah, yeah. him. Yeah, the whole we intro. Yeah, yeah, that's how we met, and that's it's Spectrum. I know. <laughs> well, okay, I see both points. Spectrum you has a lot of money. You can't see his point. It's insane. To I see think his that point. I think that sometimes <laughs> it's good to have a storefront so people think about you. It's like advertising. No, but his thing, what he can't wrap his head around is that why is there a Spectrum store? Yes, well, that that is perfect. Yeah. I I can't wrap my head around. Why that. is there any store? <clears throat> Who needs well, to have a storefront anymore? Th- some places do. Like I th- well, I think like shopping like is going to become like like foods a good food, one. Food for is like the last thing. Food, that's, you're going to have to go like, get it. People that's like true. going shopping. Like they like going to check out clothes and stuff like that. Not anymore. High end stuff, yeah. High end stuff, I guess, yeah. But with Spectrum Mobile, it's like, oh, I need a phone. Let me there go used to, to be Spectrum. like a big shopping culture. Yeah. But now it's like. You, you do all your you you know what you oh. want and you go find it and, you, and then you ship it to your house. 
right? S- Spectrum. Yeah, Spectrum has. I I, I used to pick or up. If you're Frankie, you ship it to my house. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, you could take us in and ship me. They haven't got back to me. You could take all. Dude, yo, hey, you could. Yeah! Dude, next time, like, we're gonna, dude, you can take him me up for my TikTok. I'm, I'm probably gonna get adopting all your manners. Do what? <laughs> Do what? You can take the the hot sauce company. Oh, okay. they hit him my TikTok. I'm gonna get You can take a sponsorship soon. Oh, okay. All right. I still am not does, completely does that, sure of the hurt? word you're saying. How do you spell the word you're saying? Does this hurt? I mean, it's I'm <laughs> tender. I've been touched like two times in my life. I have, I have zero. Very sensitive Shoulders? skin. Yeah, everything. I've never <laughs> did been. You, did you get red? I've never did been touched. Hit you? Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> You're so white. Yeah, I'm so white, dude. Look I'm sorry, at this. I'm sorry for attacking you on the Keep On Trucking podcast. Look how white I am, dude. <laughs> like, look at the difference just there to there. Yeah. That's crazy. Anyways. Because he's on his computer like this. Yeah, exactly. I'm just <laughs> sitting there. Sitting, sitting. You're real men. Yeah. Hey, I've, I'm getting calluses because I'm, start, I'm starting to lift. Not on my fingertips. Who the hell? From, oh, actually, I used to. From, 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 from typing? Prick, from pricking myself for diabetes. Nice. Oh. I'm getting calluses nice. because hey. I'm lifting weights. Yeah. yeah. So... Feel good. Sorry for hitting. Trying you. to look manly. No, it's okay. It toughens you up. I know. I felt like just hanging out with two of my dads. He's here. got our, our excuses loaded in <laughs> for him. No, it's all right. It's probably toughening me up. No, it's probably it's probably good for me. This guy has Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in this van for two days, and uh, I love it here now. Yeah, that's nice, best. huh? That is the best. When yeah. are we gonna leave? Dude, we're shooting this podcast. What time is it right now? It's, it's, like, ten, it's ten, fourteen. Early, early again. Early, early. Because uh, and then and like me and you, Sorry. we woke up kind of like you. You just woke up. You woke up late. I did. And then I, I got woken up by a text by this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and so like the guest woke us up. Like, you want to do the pod? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, what are you? Do- what? What's happening right now? You're like, hey, do you want to do the pod at no, nine a.m.? I'm talking shit on us. <laughs> Oh, okay. You said I got woken up by the guest who wanted to do the pot. Like, I asked. <laughs> like, I was like, hey, can I come hey, do this? Hey, was in the neighborhood. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I saw the van. Hey, hey. I was like, it's 9 a.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> God. Right, no. I guess. Can I talk to you guys? <laughs> hey, fellas. Hey, guys. Can you guys mic up? <laughs> I want to hang could up. Could you set up everything yeah. for me, please? Yeah. No, no. I was talking shit on me, on me and Luke. Okay, I thought yeah. it'd be nice. Yeah, cause, cause sure. To, yeah. No, but what I'm saying is this was like so used to waking up <laughs> so early in the morning. Like he yeah. came from Astoria. He came like an hour away. Yeah, yeah. it was a legit 59 minute <laughs> everything. Woke yeah. Up at 7 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Got here at like 8 30, texted me, and then I still like. You got here at 8 30? No, I, well, I probably got here at like 8 eight fifty or something like okay. that. I woke up at 6 40, sans alarm. I mean, did nothing, just. I my brain woke up. It's because up he loves church. At six four, <laughs> I, I was conditioned to wake up. The love of since Jesus. a child. Yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. is more aw- around in the morning. You always just wake up. <laughs> Jesus is around, in the, around morning. More in the morning. <laughs> Once the night falls, that's why you wake up. Where yeah. is he? He's Even midday, he's gone. It's yeah. kind of because you wake up at ten. He clocks out. He's like, I already head out. Yeah, for the day. You got to wake up at ten. He's like, my light already sh- kind of shone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my light shines, sh- shine shiner, yeah. shiny, shiny, yeah. brighter. Yeah, that's the word. You're um, you're a very religious man. Yeah, people say very religious, and it's like I don't really, I don't fully understand what that means. Right. But like, yeah, other like people you, are like, when oh, I you say go very to religious, everyone is, everyone has, or not everyone, of course, but a lot of people have some religion that they came up with or they sort of practice. Yeah. But you actually like. Do the I do it. He's a man of the of, faith of the religion, which yeah. is pretty rare. He is has ruined his social life on Sundays because of religion. <laughs> yeah, we, we play true. we play soccer on Sundays, mm-hmm. right? We just start. We just started. Just started having. He's a very good soccer player, by the way. Which yeah. you Come wouldn't on. be able to tell, like how Come beast on. he yeah, is. Yeah, I know. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> also, yeah, this is a great camera angle for my. I mean, I'm like hunching over <laughs> like this. Guy's an athlete. Yeah, exactly. Here's the thing. I'm spry. Like, professional <laughs> bowler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. When, I, when I heard he was coming like to play soccer, I was like, "Oh, cool! Hi, Josh!" And you know, kick ball. He's really good. Like, he's like really good at soccer. It's yeah. Compared to other comics, I'm better than most comics at yeah, soccer. Dude, really but comics are like when athletes. we go play. It's I feel like it's like Rachel, him, me, and Cooper that like ha- like like can have fun. I think just us. Yeah. Playing. Not Jack. Not Jack Barth at all. He sucks. Huh? No, he's, he's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Is he really? He's pretty fun to play with, though. He tries so hard, though. So he's just fun. constantly smiling. He's just a ball of fun. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but he's terrible. He's really bad. But it's a ball of fun. Yeah. You I know? gotta come out there sometime. I'm not very good. <clears throat> You'll no. be better than Jack. Maybe. No, I don't, don't be so sure. Oh, thanks. Frank. Oh, wait, no. You played lacrosse, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jack. <laughs> 
That's a lot like soccer. No, that's no, a good no, point. no, no, that's a good point. Well, no. He's like used to running around. I don't think Jack's ever ran a day in his life. <laughs> yeah, I can tell the way he runs is like he's still figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the first fish out of the water, evolutionarily speaking. <laughs> he's like running. He's like gun gun gun. <laughs> like there was every a time step, every step fractures his ankle yeah <laughs> and he's got, yeah. And he does therapy for his fucking for his foot every his morning foot? every morning yeah because I guess he ran too much <laughs> he went four steps he's like yeah I ran too much yeah, yeah, yeah too no, much so, for you so now every morning he has to wake up and like stretch out his ankle and like I remember like the first time I spent the night at his place I was like why are you doing this he was like I ran too much so I have to do this now. And then I was like, oh, that's, I guess this guy's like ultra marathon runner. Yeah. And then I, got, <laughs> then I saw him run. I was like, this guy runs like a fucking <laughs> newborn calf. Yeah, dude, it's because he's got such bad form. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, learn how to walk first before you before you start running. I mean, honestly, I think Jack should go back to crawling. He should just start. <laughs> Let's start from the basics, dude. Let's go back to crawling, and then we'll work our way up to running. <laughs> I like how this just turned into a Jack Barth roast. <laughs> Yeah, and he stinks at comedy. <laughs> <laughs> he's selling out of the microphone. He just, he just, he starts screaming into the mic. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. He blows out the speakers at every mic. <laughs> God, he's got a great attitude. Dude, he's a, still a ball. No, I'm just kidding. You know, yeah, he's great. Jack. Jack's great. Like, I was like, <laughs> do that thing. <laughs> yeah, very funny to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> like, what were you saying before this? Oh, Why'd you man. bring up soccer? Oh, because I was talking about how he, oh, he's ruined yeah. his social life because of the church, because of the faith. Because uh-huh. on Sundays we play very good and you wouldn't be able to tell by his physique. Mm. But he, or my like, skin color. Or his skin color. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. No, actually, no, you look European. I'm like, the, I'm like, you don't look at an Irishman and you're like, soccer. Yeah. Like, no. you don't think that. Yeah, I feel like, I can see you being like, like, I would think like uh, rugby. Sure. Like, yeah. I'm very, like, yeah, but I couldn't. Can do it. I mean, you just threatened to hit me, and I'd just take it. Yeah, like, I'm sorry I don't, about I don't that. Wanna... I didn't feel good about that. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. But it will be the clip. <laughs> will be the... <laughs> just punching me, and I'm just like, yeah, that's right. Hey guys, thanks place. for bringing me on. Uh, this has been great. <laughs> just, <laughs> bang, <laughs> just, what, just wailing on you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys both punch me on either side of the face at the same time. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the clip. <laughs> just my teeth just cave in on both sides. <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. Fucking Luke posted an assault. <laughs> Don't know. It's against the white guy. It's fine. It's yeah. it's okay. It was it's like good. Wh- yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, good. It's, it's good for society. We need yeah. more white on white crime. Yeah. That's better. You know. Yeah. So, so I'm giving it up. I'm I'm uh, soccer. Yeah, saying. so sorry. So yeah. not good at. I mean, very good. You couldn't wouldn't be able to tell by his disgusting right. fucking physique. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> just smart every, water. Just every yeah. time he gets. You want to say it one more time? <laughs> yeah, it's like, dear lord. Well, very good. Well, he's gonna good. Uh, he's good despite. The, despite what I he mean, looks like, I mean, look at this. Yeah, let's get a super clip of this together. Just <laughs> I mean, dot, 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 eight times in a row. I mean, yeah. you, have you ever seen this? You ever <laughs> catch a glimpse have of this? Have I ever seen Josh? Yes, I have seen Josh. Yeah. God. Yeah. Nah, no. yeah. <laughs> you look great, dude. <laughs> good. You look great. Thank you. But, Thank but you. he did confess to me that he would love to play volleyball, but he doesn't because he can't take his shirt off. I don't because like he's incapable of reaching that. <laughs> of reaching what? I mean, every I mean, day, every morning, they sew the shirt on to yeah. it. Because <laughs> you're not even fat, so this is just coming off as mean. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not fat. Well, how much you? How much you guys think I weigh? Do you know how much Did of a dick Frankie is? Two hundred three. Do you know how mean he is? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've met him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah fucking he's... mean. People think he's nice. He's not nice at I'm, all. I'm nice to strangers. <laughs> I'm mean. nice. They're nice literally to the people Maybe. that don't matter for you to be nice to. Yeah, like Frankie's nice when he stranger. meets you, and then he becomes your close friend, and and yeah. just just ruins. But he ra- it. dude, he that is like he's like a freaking spider. He's like, come on, <laughs> come on, and then once you're in the web, he's like, you should be insecure. <laughs> <laughs> just like Frankie's, Frankie's like, you're not very funny, <laughs> and then also he'll like gaslight you because he mumbles, and then like you're like what, and then he's like, <sighs> like you don't know what he said. And he's like, "What are you stupid?" And Dude, I got, I got a, <laughs> I got mean? a jacket one time. I was, I was super hype about this jacket. I got it at a thrift, or a consignment shop, Ugly. for cheap. And I show up. I'm feeling really good. And Frankie goes, "Oh," <laughs> he goes, "This is the ugliest jacket I've ever seen in my life." <laughs> I go, "Fucking," I, I'm like, "Fuck you, dude." 
And, but then I'm like going home. I'm like, is this an ugly jacket? Yeah. <laughs> then I show up fucking the next place. Frankie's not even there. And it's all my other friends. It's and Christian, they're like, Alex, and Jack. Yeah. And they're all like, oh, that, ja- that jacket's ugly. <laughs> I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, the jacket. It's ugly. They couldn't believe how ugly his jacket was. <laughs> Did you like they're reading, like they're reading off a script. No, no. I go. Do oh you, boy, uh, is that jacket bad looking? <laughs> yeah. No, it was very. No. Uh, what are we? Oh yeah, the uh, the jacket. It's ugly. No, ev- no, everybody hates it in their heart. <laughs> Fucking, he puts everyone up. He goes, hey, when you see Luke's new jacket, <laughs> tell him that it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Well, I ran into them on the train, and I think uh, I think somebody was wearing a nice jacket. I was like, "That's a good jacket." Unlike the one fucking Luke just bought. Have you seen that shit? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> and, and, and then I told him, "When you when you see him, you'll know what it is, and make sure he does." He feels insecure about it. What's great about that is that you didn't specify which jacket, so now any jacket he wears, people are like, "That's the bad jacket." I guess. Yeah. No, so you'll like, know when you see it. Ugh. It's bad, dude. Like, dude, like it it's looks a like, good white man jacket. It, it looks like it looks like he found it like on the floor, which thrift store. So ba- kind of somebody found it on the it floor. It was on the floor. At somebody some point. found it on the yeah. floor and then put it up for a sale. And Luke was like, "Oh, <laughs> take my money." <laughs> Pretty good. And that's yeah. kind of funny. If you see something on the floor, you're like, "Oh, that's free," and they put it up on a hanger and it's three dollars. And you're like, "Why is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I paying three dollars just to take it off the rack? I just want to drop it on you the just, floor." And then how much was it? it just straightened it how out. How much did you pay for it? Uh, I think twenty bucks. Piece of shit. Twenty bucks. I, I guess, that's, I guess that's cheap. It's a Columbia jacket. It's a Columbia oh, jacket. Nice. But, yeah, no, no. You it's a think, windbreaker. Yeah, you'd think it's nice, dude. It's a gray jacket. I'll show it to you after this. It's, windbreaker just typically doesn't. I'm not like nice windbreaker. Uh-huh. Like you very <laughs> rarely use that. Oh, I forgot you're a dick too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like. I'd love to believe that it's great. Yeah. I don't believe that it's great. Mm-hmm. But I'd I'll like show to it to you after. Sure, I'll decide then. Yeah. I'll, I'll film your reaction. I'm excited here. to look we'll at the bad looking jacket. Yeah. yeah. 100%. I, I feel, dude, oh, would that be cool if I filmed your reaction and put it on the pod? Yeah, I'm not really a big reactor. I don't really react a lot. <laughs> like, if you just show me something, I'll just be like, nice. Like, be- <laughs> I, I just imagine uh, Josh at, a, at the birth of his firstborn son. I'm not really. It doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's <laughs> looking over at him. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, That's a boy. All of a sudden, <laughs> I just turn into Nate Bargetsy. I'm like, all right. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. No, I, nice. I heard that's a big thing though. When like when dudes, like when their son is born, that your love has to grow for your son or your kid after like a couple days. That it's like not you Im- don't like it for the yeah, first yeah, couple that, days. Yeah, that it's not immediate. I heard that a couple of times. Really? Mm-hmm. And then that, that Do you have lot- friends who have kids that told you that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's in the podcasts. Okay. So and then I heard that like after like a while, like, like that people feel weird when their son is born, and they're like, ah, fuck, I, sh- I should feel overwhelming feeling of love, and I don't. Yeah. And then after a while, it happens. Oh, sorry. That's because immediately the child's a burden to them. They're like, ah, now I got to carry this thing? Yeah. Like, yeah. before, I was just standing here, great, and now I got to carry this as annoying. Yeah. Well, you know? um, I was, someone was, Louie was saying, like, when he had his daughter, the whole time he's thinking, like, it's me and it's been him and his wife. And he's been taking care of her, and the whole thing has been about her and her struggle. Mm-hmm. And then, like, w- it was a bad, it was not a smooth delivery. It was a C-section, and the daughter was crying, and the mother was getting sewn up. And Louis was, like, in between it. And he was, like, the whole time he was thinking, like, I didn't, I didn't process, really, that there would be another person involved. I just thought, it's going to be me and my wife, we're going to handle this thing, and then we're going to go home. Yeah. Right. It didn't, it didn't register with him, like, oh, there's going to be, like, a new person here. And when they were sewing up his wife, and she was, like, you know, under drugs, and then his daughter was crying, and he was in the middle, like, trying to decide which one to go to, and he went to his daughter. And then uh, it's the beginning of the divorce. Yeah, yeah. Just right there, just right there. <laughs> but that's the right thing to do. I mean, right you then. have you have more love for your child than you do for your spouse because your child is like your fucking dude. It's like a piece of you. I think it's that's like true. I think that I don't know if that's good though. I think I'm gonna tell my kids that I would kill them all for my wife. Dude, I'd be like, because I, I think they'd like to hear that. I think they want to be like, I want you to love my mom. That's what my dad is me. like. My dad is like, uh, yeah, you guys, you know. You, I love you guys, but not as much as I love your mom. See, I'd love to hear that. That's great. I'm like, <sighs> what? What you want? <laughs> you want to be like, no? What you're in competition with hey. your mom? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> in comedy. And why don't you want? <laughs> <laughs> She's hilarious. Yeah, uh, one that's a rat in a rat race. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's Go a in. weird niche. Here's the thing. I mean, just alone already, your dad can have sex with your mom. Mm-hmm. He can't have sex with you. 
So automatically, Jerry can. Well, I all right. I guess that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, I'm more now. I'm stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stronger. Okay, <laughs> but but before, yeah. So now, obviously, he's gonna love your mom yeah. more because no more sex with you guys, right? So he's gonna be like, well, no gonna... more sex with the boy. I mean, no guess I'll go back to this old bag. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any other siblings? Do you have any siblings? I have a younger brother and younger sister. Oh, so he could still have sex with them. Well, you know, uh, they're 20 and 18 now. Do you... Oh, one's legal finally. Yeah. Well, the bottom one. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have an older brother. Does your dad fuck him? <clears throat> Not to my knowledge. <clears throat> it would need to be consensual, though, Should we point. call them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, yeah. When's the last time you had sex uh, with Daniel, <laughs> my, my, my uh, older never. brother? And, and, then, and then you see, like, tires screeching. <laughs> Never. <laughs> my dip, my brother's in the background. Dad, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, back to, back to soccer, dude. All right, <laughs> waking up early. This guy has ruined his social life of playing soccer Sundays with the homies. Mm-hmm. He's very good, by the way. Even though, despite even the, the aforementioned <laughs> weight, despite <laughs> yeah. despite what's obvious. Wait, wait. You said two or three. How much do you think I weigh? Uh, I said yeah, two or three. I'm gonna say you're taller than me, and also you're bigger than me all right cool it so i would say you're probably 213 i'm 220 okay so not but a lot of people guess like 200s somewhere like like yeah. low 200 yeah because you're around there you, you don't look out of shape but you do you do look dense yeah no i'm very dense like a dying star try and push me around oh you're about to explode yeah, 100%. So let me get some. So this will fucking right. stop us going to soccer because he signed up for a new thing at church where he has to help out. Doing sound and stuff. Doing sound. And then, yeah. so like, like I was, it was like Saturday night. I was like, I'll see you at soccer tomorrow. He's like, he's like, I can't go. I was like, why? He's like, he's like, I signed up to help out with sound at church. Yeah. Which, <clears throat> which, um, I get it if you're like a family guy and then like your parents make you do it and you're like 16 and like you got to help out with sound. You did this on your own yeah i just which did it you're huge into the church then huh you're like a huge church guy really just more of a sound guy <laughs> <laughs> love sound <laughs> love hearing stuff it's the best <laughs> it's my favorite uh, thing to and do also he's like he's like relatively new to the church you've been there for like a month and a half maybe to this oh, one to that particular yeah. congregation Have they yeah accepted and, you into the well he's I'm in a small group. I'm in a small group that meets on Tuesdays, but like it's no, it's over for the Tuesdays summer. Tuesdays too now, dude. <laughs> yeah, Tuesdays. Tuesdays and Sundays. Yeah. So I, I, I can't understand this, dude. Why you would do such a thing? But yeah. please explain to me why why you would do this. I think it's um I don't know. I think it's good to get plugged into a church. And when I was in Denver, I never really did. And I'm like now that I'm here. I think I should, and I'm planning on being here for like a while. Right. I should get plugged into a church and like involved in the community and stuff like that. See, that, like that, that's that church is a good way to meet community. Like, I think about going to church here now just because, like, no, you don't. I, dude. I've thought about it. You don't know what I think about. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> dude, you have a podcast together. He knows what you think about. Okay. God, dude, this is another thing. I'm going to be like, I'll be like, yeah, I think I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. And he's like, no, you're not, dude. No, no, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> he just starts doing the podcast opening on because it's a good way to meet the community. Yeah, it's a good way to meet people. Well, see, no, but that, there's the a actual thing. community, not all these fucking kids who are transplants here that are trying to make their art happen. I thought you were gonna not, not say transplants. I was like, wow, well, we don't need to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, because when, when, when I came to New York and like I, the, there's the stand up from me. For me, I'm like, all right, well, these are the people that I'm going to hang out with for the next rest of my life. Yeah, you know? for the next rest of my life. Yeah, yeah and then you, and then you, you, not you, because you just say that because Josh is here. He wants to sound cool to you. Hey, then, you don't. <laughs> hey, listen. There's nothing you could do that would make you sound cool to me. Okay, that's so fine. But, I like uh, don't Jesus. Don't worry about it. <laughs> nerd. Jesus is cool. <laughs> yeah. Dumb nerd. But like, but like you, you come, you, you like hang out with all the stand-ups and shit. You like, you're like in the comedy community now. And but you're also like, I, oh, I hate comedy community. I hate that. No, I love comedy. Community. I, I know, comedy I mean, community. No, no, no. Is no like, I mean, I, I hate the term. Oh, oh. So, yeah. yeah, it's a dose. Yeah, what a stupid term, term. man. Yeah. I'm so Dumb punk term. rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Comedy <laughs> community. I like uh. the, the, the comedy commune. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like comedy compound. Yeah. Comedy yeah. compound. It's like our house. We all hang out. Yeah, exactly. We all but, murder no, suicide ourselves. For you, <laughs> for you, that wasn't enough. 
You said you wanted to go to the church. It wasn't too. enough for me. It well, was just a different community. type of community. It's just a different type of community. All right, yeah. It's like it. that's that the community I'm going to like spend eternity with. And you guys you, are like my earthly community that I'll see this life. Yeah. And then you're and gone forever. The yeah, then you're you, dead. So you think forever. that we're going to hell? I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. I, I'm not I'm not here to tell you the state of your soul. That's not my job. What's your opinion, though? <laughs> what are my thoughts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's take it off pot. <laughs> so no. if you're the jerk. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Is yeah, I'm yeah. not the uh, I'm not the judge or jury. Um, yeah. which is convenient for me. Yeah, because uh, I don't have to tell people they're going to hell. Sure. Um, so so yeah. you, so you're gonna be happy but going now. So yeah, you know. Did yeah. help you this? know you're going to hell. Yeah. I don't need to tell you. Did, that. So you're gonna go to heaven and like the only people are gonna be up there. It's just gonna be you and Pete Holmes. Hey, Pete Holmes isn't even going to be up there, dude. He left. He left the he church. Did, he left the faith. He yeah, left. Dude, He's I, out. Dude, it's I, gonna be I, me and Nate Bargetzi. Dude, I've known. I know. Uh, I know Bates. another guy mm -hmm. that started stand up and left the faith immediately. He didn't leave the faith, but he stopped being in love with the, with the church community. Yeah, because I I think a lot of these people they they're like so involved in the community that once they like do like a hobby like stand up or something, they see the like it's a whole different part of the world. Yeah, and then they start resenting. The, this shit uh, well, have you seen that happen dude well yeah for sure I mean one thing with the comedy community specifically is it's like it's church people are not funny there's so few funny people in yeah. church it's crazy it's crazy how few people are actually funny do you there's see, a ton of laughter going on do you see on. a lot of um, because the, the preacher usually is like a guy who wants to be funny right yeah a lot of pastors are, are wannabe comics do you see a lot of uh people that are like uh like sort of they're keeping these egos at bay but they have these egos in the same way dude comics do. a ton of pastors have egos and that ruins their churches like yeah. i'd be like hey if you want to actually be a comic go do that yeah. like don't go be a pastor and talk about jesus and then tell like yeah. a dumb yeah. joke and the congregation the congregation laughs because they're like that was a joke yeah. <laughs> i should mm -hmm. laugh it has nothing yeah. to do with if it's actually funny or not and it drives me insane. So, like, if you hang out with the, like, comics, you're like, oh, this is so much more fun, dude. This is so much better than hanging out right. with non-funny church right. people. Right, So, it's like, it is hard to hang out sometimes. And, like, with comics, I can say, like, anything I want whenever I want. Yeah. And with church people, sometimes they'll be like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, you, that was, let's, okay, let's bring it back. And, yeah. uh, and you're like, oh, my God. Yeah. Do you try to crack jokes at church? Um, or yeah, but pretty church? rarely. I, I don't. I don't like make a point to try and be funny because it's yeah. like, it, yeah. But then when you do make them laugh, it's like a real laugh, which is yeah. nice because people used to fake laughing so much at church. Yeah. You know, like it was so cold this morning and now it's so hot and everyone's like, <laughs> I know. Yeah. And you're like, I'm going to kill myself oh, in this dude. sanctuary. It's such a slam dunk to make it's people just laugh the if you're <laughs> the preacher. Dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the any oh. reference, any reference. Dude, anything it's at all. Like yeah, you do a pop culture anything, reference. Anything in reference to outside of, <laughs> like, the outside world. It's Dude, like, the worst. Oh, yeah. We're humans. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the worst is when they start talking about people like, oh, uh, people say God doesn't have a sense of humor. But, I mean, have you guys seen a, the giraffe? <laughs> Am I, yeah, am I right? Yeah, and actually, the whole congregation is like, that's a, that's a really good point. That's and I'm like, good, this actually. is the worst. <laughs> no, that's pretty I, good. Hate, I hate it I so much, dude. That's funny, though. Yeah, that's terrible. That's pretty good. They're like, God, <laughs> God's pretty funny to make the giraffe. And you're like, You're oh. like, the fucking punch it out. Yeah, that's exactly. just a premise, you dick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's the starting point. Where yeah. are you taking us yeah, on yeah, this yeah. journey? Have you seen the, the donkey? Oh, yeah, exactly. look at that guy. He looks so stupid. Oh, what an ass. Oh, all right. So... It's funny about like the ego thing with the churches. Yeah. My first job out of college, I uh, got hired to buy a church to edit a drama web series that they were making. Oh no! And it was all the congregation, <laughs> like the 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 main pastor, the the woman who sang at church, were like the stars of the show. Yeah, dude, that's so insane. And <laughs> And the show was called the, the the show was called the day after tomorrow, like the movie. <laughs> like the movie. Oh, is that akin to the movie Day After Tomorrow? <laughs> no, it's not just Day After Tomorrow. It's also the movie is called The Day After Tomorrow. That's just that's so. And they were like, they were like, um, they were so, like confident and excited about making this thing, and they had no idea how to do it. Of course not. But they were like. They were so reliant on 
that God was going to make it happen. And I was like, okay, but you do need to like make a shot list. <laughs> <laughs> they hit me up the first episode. They sent me all the footage. I got hired. They sent me all the footage. And I was like, this is great. Um, just send me a script. And then I will go ahead and cut this first episode for you. And they say, okay, well, we still got to finish the script. And I said, oh, well, you sent me the footage already. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, oh, yeah, well, you know, we just kind of got on set and we were just feeling the love and the light. And we were just kind of writing as we went. And I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're like, that was our thought. Uh, you know? yeah. <laughs> oh, they were trying to curb your enthusiasm, a drama show. Dude, you got to be Jewish were, to curb your enthusiasm. They, I was going through this footage. They were making up drama monologues off the top of their head. And they were great. <laughs> they stunk. Oh. They were like, dang it. They would be like, I just, I can't understand why you would feel this way about. And then you hear in the background, talk about your struggle. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, uh. Meanwhile, he's going through a completely different Shit. struggle right in the moment. Uh, dude, Seriously. Dude, did you say that the guy, the character making it, he was like the cool guy? The, 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 <laughs> the, the main character, the producer of the show, the head pastor of the church is the lead in the show. Of course. And let me tell you, what's his role? His... His name was Dr. Gideon. He was a doctor. Nice. He was a psychologist. I guess that's a doctor as well. Yeah, but he was but like it'd be a, funny to think he's, he's both. He's a professor. He's a therapist. He's a <laughs> he's a he's an author. He's a firefighter. He's a co he's a cop. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's so funny. He's he's uh he's like a the church mentor. Uh-huh. But also, by night, he's a murderer. <laughs> so that's the twist. He has this that whole, whole all of those things, dude. This guy, he first of all, it was this guy. He he would put on a Jerry curl. He looked like Sam Jackson in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> put on a Jerry curl wig, and he would like, uh, <laughs> and he was like the star of the show, you know. But then like he would play this alter ego. Like of himself, and he would put on like, this is a black dude, and he would put on like eyeliner, like goth paint, and like <laughs> and like r like dress up like a goth guy and be like, I'm evil, Doctor Gideon, and and I'm just like, holy shit, dude, this is, and so, but but as the B plot of the story <laughs> was about was about this family, and is about a mother and a son and the the mother's boyfriend. And, uh, you know, like it starts, it starts there like at dinner, the mother and the boyfriend, she's like, baby, I'm so happy. We've been together 30 years. Meanwhile, they're like 35 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Since like, baby, kindergarten. Baby, we, baby, we've, we've been, uh, together 30 years. I just think it's time to get out of the business. He's like, oh, baby, we're so close. We need to keep going with this thing. And then you find out that he's her pimp. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together 30 years. That's yeah. a very generous relationship. Yeah. This is a church producing this show. Dude, also, that's insane that there's the main characters, all that, plus a murderer at night. And then there's this plot. By the, no script, by the way. No so, script. So they're just like, let's, let's see where this goes. Dude, they're just fucking like making it up. Like, I remember, yeah, the woman who wrote it. And these were like really nice people. And I feel bad, but like. They don't just feel, don't feel bad. I just knew I was like, there's no way this show will ever get made ever. They had like like a thousand people waiting on the release date because they had a big congregation <laughs> and they dropped the ball. And but I saw this. So I'm going through all this footage and I was like, it should be this is how you should tell the story. I was just like, you should make it about this family. And then make Dr. Gideon this like side character. Like when the son, because the son doesn't have a father figure to look to, so he needs to go to Dr. Gideon, but then Dr. Gideon is actually evil too. So I, I, I was like, well, you should make it about the son and like make it all about how he has no one to look up to. But of course they wouldn't do it. 
because yeah, it has he, to be about all, all about Dr. Gideon. That's why he's so many characters, dude, because he wants to be in a separate show for each one of those characters, but he's like, this is my one shot yeah. to be in a show. Right. I got to do it all. Well, I got to do everything and in this one episode. I can relate to the ego <clears throat> thing because fucking I put myself in my own shit. But I, I mean, yeah, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, you really. We were talking. No, Frank I, and I were talking about this. You're pretty narcissistic. I am. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, you're off the team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah. Sorry. You want to switch to the bucket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Stop talking about what you guys are talking about. Let me talk about what I'm talking right, about. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just like I'm I'm a video editor and and I'm a director and I do all that stuff and I I like I do have that thing where I'm like I'm gonna like make the perfect angle and the perfect story so that I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, so that you look cool? So that I look cool. Dude, I, that's that's crazy. I can't, I mean, I probably have some of that in me too, but also looking cool is something that I'm so like against, yeah. like almost fil- on like a philosophical level yeah. that I just don't want to look cool ever. Yeah. I never want to look cool. Well, but impossible. I want people to like me. Well, well, I want you, people to like me, but I don't want to be I cool. I can't imagine you looking cool. Thank you. <laughs> and Come any, on. And any, uh, what was that? That's right. It's, it's, it's both in my eyes. I agree with you, dude. That's nice. I can't imagine you. You see, like that. That was not cool at all, dude. That was incredibly <coughs> uncool, nerd. <laughs> Suck. Just start beating you up. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. No, dude. No, dude, I think you're cool, but I think everybody's like, like when you say cool, dude. I like everybody has their own version of being cool. Like in like in high school, you thought something was cool, so you try to be that something. I don't know about you, but you're like, 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 <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't really do that. Like, like you know, like, like, you're like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to try to be like that. But then you get older, the more you are, I'm here, kids, the more you are yourself, the cooler you are to other people. You're like, oh, that guy's, I think that's, that's what comedy is. Yeah. The more, like, all our favorite comics, we like them because they're themselves so much. We're like, that's the shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're confident and they're like authentic. They're both. Yeah. That's, which that's, is I, sweet. I guess that's the word. Authentic. Yeah. You you, if you can cool. be authentic and confident, like that's great. But then you're not going to look like I'm never going to wear a leather jacket in my life. That, I, I mean, that'd be the well, worst decision for me ever. That's what I'm saying. That's not cool for you because that's not you. If you wore that, be like, that guy looks uncomfortable. Yeah, well, I definitely would be uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. that's definitely true. Like, I, what I think is cool, I like plain T-shirts and uh, and uh, jeans, you know? Yeah. Like, that's what I think is. Yeah, like, and you oh, look, dude, you know, whatever. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, you fucking with your with your fucking. Well, you're killing it right now. You know that's why this guy doesn't do roasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well you look <clears throat> not too you're great like, yourself. Well, you're, you're like zero uh, and three in roasts, dude. What's your record? I've done way more roasts than that. And how many have you won? <laughs> He's like I'm well, like, in all your of record? those. I don't know. I've definitely lost more than I've won, but I'm pretty good at it. There you go, dude. My roast, my I only roasted in Denver, and I'm zero and five. Oh, really? I'm so damn bad at roast, dude. <laughs> yeah. I just can't do it. I'm I just like, be, hey, I, you're... I think you'd be good at roast. Nice guy. I don't know. No, yeah. I'm really bad at He's it. Really I, I just, I, do, I can't do the format, dude. Yeah. Like, I just, I can't think of, I can't think of good, like, I, I can't do it right now. Yeah. I just can't think of roast. I don't know. So, let's get back to this thing about you. Oh, you're what's the, the thing? Guest. You don't do drugs. Mm-mm. You don't... Just caffeine. <laughs> Has been hanging out with the congregation for too much. <laughs> you don't to have, my Mormon you don't have out sex. There. Yeah. Because, and that's a personal choice that you don't have sex. Well, he, the, well, he believes he'll go to hell. I'm choosing not to. No, that's not. That's not. <laughs> that's not true. He only has anal. I can't believe. <laughs> is there, Listen, I want you put anal, it in my do back you have door. The anal loophole. No, I, I don't really. I mean, I'm pretty conservative. I think you should not uh, make each other come. That's kind of pre-marriage. Hey, look, you're not gonna have any trouble with that. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I don't think she should make me come before marriage, okay. and then I'll, you know, I'll try the entire time. Yeah, She'll yeah, be like, yeah. "Go ahead, have a shot." So it's you can gonna... fuck if you just don't come. <clears throat> no, no. Okay. I think you should. I think you should keep your clothes on pre-marriage. That's my. Everyone draws the line. Like Christians draw the line differently. Mm-hmm. Some people, Conti? yeah, Christian, yeah, he's on the line yeah, quite the, far down the line. Um, this guy's gay. So like he drew the line, and put it in his ass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like everyone puts it diff- different spots, right? I'm like on the more conservative end. I'm like, hey, let's uh, let's keep our clothes on, you know? Let's yeah. do that. Grind on That's me. Like, do you ever worry that when you do finally meet your wife and get married, 
Yeah. And then you have sex for the first time. Mm-hmm. You're just going to stink at it. Well, he is. Well, for sure, yeah. yeah. That's, they, a, that's well, a given. They both are. Yeah, well, yeah, she's I mean, yeah. she's a virgin. If, yeah. if she's a virgin, I don't know. Right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, it'll it's going to be horrific. She's going to be a virgin. Mary. A virgin. She's going to be a virgin. You're going to be a virgin. Mm-hmm. Is she going to be like... Like old? I don't know how old she's gonna be. I guess what? That's a ridiculous. What question. are you asking? Yeah, it's kind of an insane <laughs> yeah. question. Like, well, like what? Like she's sixty? No, like, like thirty. What? Oh, maybe I don't know. You yeah. think that's old? No, that's not old. But that's it's old, old for a virgin. It's virgin. an old virgin. I mean, I'm oh, twenty-seven. That is, that's a very. That's that is, an old that is, virgin. That is an old virgin. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I was. I was just about to call you a fucking very talented. Director. When you were talking about, I want to do this. I was gonna call you like talented director, writer, and this uh, and that. And then you said that, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him that I was gonna say that. Uh, well, it no, was like I don't do that as much anymore. Now I'm better at like making myself look like the the you know like like I'm getting shit on and stuff like when stuff yeah, that we oh, yeah, yeah. that's admirable. But like I I have fantasies about the type of stuff I could create where I'm like running around Dude, running yeah. around New York and like oh doing spots and then like, like pulling cool, women cool, cool jazz music playing and I'm smoking cigarettes I always think about <laughs> stuff like that dude, dude one time he, he, was, he was like dude like I'm gonna show you a song that like that like he, was, he told me this vision he's like you know like running around like doing spots in New York and like oh man look cool he's like I don't wanna put this song and he puts the song right he puts it on and, and he's like trying to make me envision it and I'm just watching him I'm watching him envision it and like this song is like playing in the back and he goes dude and then right here I'll go into this club and and fucking Sam walks and he goes, turn that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, right. That's not what happened. Sam's heard it like a thousand times. <laughs> what happened? Sam was trying to talk to you. And then I was like, and then I. You're he, trying to draw him I'm into your to, daydream? I'm trying to like draw him into my daydream. And then he's talking to Sam. And then I'm like, and then at this part, and Sam's like, hey, we're talking here. <laughs> <laughs> what oh. a dick, dude. Yeah. Could you be in his daydream with him, please? Yeah, seriously. I'm a solipsist, but it, but he's the real person. Yeah. And we're the, you know what solipsism is? Yeah, of course. I'll explain it for people who don't. There you go. It's like when you, it's like when you think you're the only person, the only person in existence. In existence yeah. And yeah. everyone else we're is just a figment of your right. imagination. Imagination. <clears throat> he's the real person, and we're just figments of his imagination. I'm glad that I finally feel validated on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, I thought that was me when I was a kid. No, yeah, but you were Luke's. Yeah. yeah, I I, I, had, I had a Luxism. Thank God yeah. you met me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the source of all yeah. existence. Yeah, or the reason for all. Dude, do you ever just trip yourself out and think that like everyone's a figment of your imagination? That's what he's talking about. No, that's a about, good idea. I never thought of that before. He's talking about that about you. No, but I'm saying like you were just like tri- like like just trip out like just think about it so off so much, and go fuck go fuck. <clears throat> no. No, not you? since I was very young. Not really. I used to think that when I was a kid. When I was a kid too. Yeah, we we, we talked about this, and you were like, I I thought I was Jesus, and yeah. I was like, why would the only person mean <laughs> yeah. that you were Jesus? Uh, I used to think I was Jesus. <laughs> I mean, you're Mexican. Like, you, <laughs> Jesus is pretty similar. Dude, yeah. I, I was like, mm-hmm. I'm the only person in the world that exists. I guess what you were talking about. Like, yeah, I yeah. But that's like, a good. Yeah, nice. but it, but it was it was like a fleeing fucking like thought. Like I would come and go, but dude, what if I'm like the only one that could see and smell and touch and feel emotion? Well, that would suck if you're the only person, but you still have to suffer consequences. I used to like, think that'd I, be the worst. Like I'm the only person in existence, but if I kill someone, I still go to jail. That's so jacked. Yeah, I'm the old, no, no, no. Yeah, you're not real. I'm real. Yeah. You can't a fake person. This can't, is my world. A fake person can't put a real person in jail. Yeah. that's so un, that's insane. Right. Yeah, that's like if you had imaginary friends and they put you into their imaginary jail. Yeah, and you're well, like, if no. This, if this was all your shit, couldn't you just control it? Can you control your world? Exactly. It's like kind of the worst case. That's a worst case scenario. Can you control your world anyway? If you had some discipline, if you got your fucking life together, couldn't you actually control your reality? Yeah, you can. Yeah. That's why I can control my reality more than you guys can, because I've never had sex. So dis- discipline. That's what it's about. That's why you don't have sex, so that you can control, control my... your reality. So yeah. what are the benefits of not having sex? It's so hard for <clears throat> you Josh to, to not have sex, dude. Because every, yeah. every, every time you go, everybody's all trying time, to have dude, sex. All the time. I see like the way Josh. girls look at me, and they go... Ugh. What's the close? And I'm like... What's the closest? The closest you got to having sex. Um, he doesn't want to talk about. I don't know the girl I dated in high school. You you said she 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 had oral sex. Yeah, 
Okay. So yeah, can, she's so she's. Uh, that. What's the distinction? Well, there? there's not can do that. I mean, you can do anything you want. No, that's that's his line that he drew. I, well, that's, no, but my line, line is line. my line is before that. Actually, I went past my okay. line. Oh, and, um, and also, if you don't want to talk about this on the pod, after we've uh, already fine. talked about it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to like. Grill. Also, retroactively, uh, I just think it's interesting. <laughs> like, no, yeah, that's fine. You know, you're. You, it's funny because like, like growing up, we'd all be like, "Oh, that guy's." Like boring because he doesn't do this, but now it's like it makes you one of the most interesting people. Yeah, because exactly. because <laughs> you well, don't do all that stuff. Before you were trying to, but you couldn't, right? right. And so I was like, oh, what the, well, this guy's a loser. He can't do this thing he wants to do. Right. But if you don't have the desire to do it, right. Or you you have a desire to not do it until a certain point. Yeah. Everyone's like, what the hell? Yeah. Like why why? Yeah. Because it's an objectively great thing. To not have sex. No, to have sex. Yeah, to is have sex. objectively pretty sweet. Well, you don't so know. no, we're past the age where it's like, like, like you're still in that. Like for for me now, I'm like, oh, it's just a part of life. For but like, well, yeah, but if someone told you, okay, no more sex yeah, the rest of your life, how'd you react? I just rub one out instead of sex, and you'd be like, yeah, that's fine for forever. Nah, it wouldn't be. Yeah, fine. exactly. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be devastating, but like, like yeah, because you've had it. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Right. For you, it's still like an objectively fucking amazing thing that. Dude, this is. It's like a mirage. This is the common. Dude, he still gets to get his first sex. Well, not a first, but first good sex. Yeah, yeah. that's going to come like way oh, yeah. few you, years like into marriage. Yeah, yeah, a few years into marriage, yeah. probably. It's going to be great. You're like, wow, hey, that actually was pretty good. Dude. Hopefully, you'd marry a 19 year old. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There, but this, this fool was saying that Christians normally, or like celibate Christians, normally get married quickly. Like, are you, do you think it has to do with this? Has to do with the sex? Oh yeah, for sure. Abstinence is a huge thing. Like at homeschoolers, homeschoolers get married so young because their parents are like, just don't have sex outside marriage. Just don't have sex outside mm. marriage. Like, get married at eighteen. Mm. Like, just so you don't have sex because everyone knows, like, oh, you're gonna goof up, so you better get married. And then they just get into these horrific marriages yeah. because they wanted to bone legally. Yeah. And then they have a terrible. And then they have like twenty kids. Because right. they also aren't really big into contraceptives, so and they stay together forever, or they get divorced, and it's like, and then the whole family just like you created twenty wanderers who have no idea what the hell's going on. Yeah, and like the father normally becomes a murderer. Dude, I know a guy. I know a guy. They were so conservative in our church, yeah. so conservative in our church. Then he, out of nowhere, divorced his wife, married this other woman after getting her pregnant with twins. Like it was just like out of nowhere, super conservative family. Then he like I don't know if he cheated on his wife or whatever, but like got this woman pregnant with like his ki- his youngest kid was like seventeen, and then he just started a new family with this other woman, and it was just like, what the hell? Like in our church, like from a Christian perspective, that's a crazy tailspin. Like this person's out of control. Yeah, but that's, like, that's pretty out of control. In, I, in regular. I, I guess, but for us, it's just like that's insane. Like he's like the men need to have beards, like level conservative. Yeah, yeah. have you guys ever ex- ex- what if they can't grow a beard? <laughs> They're not a man. They're not men. Have you, yeah. have you guys I'm ever, not a man. Have you guys ever communicated? Yeah. Uh, if someone in my church was excommunicated, I I wasn't there when it happened. For being but, a rapist? Or? Yeah. No, so, no, they weren't being a rapist. So they they were. I don't know what was happening. They like ran away from their oh. family or whatever. Like yeah, it was a wife, and she like left her husband and kids, and like wouldn't respond to church leadership, being like, "Hey, what you're doing is jacked up," and she just wouldn't respond. So they're like, "All right, she's out of here." So Dude, you're like, that that story about. The guy starting a new family reminded mm-hmm. me of a story. My mom used to babysit for this family when she was a kid, mm-hmm. and the father had like had a whole different family, like in a town like thirty minutes away. Thirty minutes? That's so close. And the, that's so close. The mother, <laughs> three blocks out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just super close. Walk, same state, just close by, like an hour drive maybe or something. And the mother was in the original family went to that town to go shopping or something and saw in a picture frame store a picture of his whole other family (laughs) (laughs) that's so funny dude could you imagine gosh what a fucking mind fuck that would be dude oh my husband seems to be moonlighting as a stock photo model yeah (laughs) it's like no that's his legit family yeah dude 30 minutes away 
that's so weird like that he logistically made that choice he was like i need a second family but they gotta be close by i gotta be close i gotta yeah i have to be there for everyone exactly yeah he's still a responsible this family man this dude's burning the candle at both ends jesus christ i mean talk about like a busy guy <laughs> he's busy for sure you know how many soccer games he's got to go to he's <laughs> yeah. like it's easier if my kids just play against each other yeah i mean you know that guy's got show. good genes <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's probably. definitely got some athletes yeah probably yeah he's got Dude, two how many kids how many kids i don't know between the two i wonder what he did for christmas <laughs> I gotta go. This family's Jewish. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's probably better if you yeah. marry different religions yeah. for that reason. Yeah. So you convert one of the families to Judaism. Yeah, and the other one yeah. is atheist. Well, oh, atheist is great. Yeah, yeah. The, the mother, um, if the mother's Jewish, the family's Jewish. Dude, do you guys have a lot of criminals at your churches? Yeah, like, there like criminals. converted criminals. There were criminals. There was, there was a, yeah, there was a pedophile back what? in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. He was cool and shit. Right? He was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he went to jail for like child pornography. Huh. And he's, he's dead now, which is why I feel comfortable saying this. But, but he like how did he die? Heart attack. Child. He was homeless. He would, he would sleep in his car. How uh, did he die? Sleep, child pornography. What is the his... order of all this stuff? It's... <laughs> yeah, he was cool. He had a child porn. He went to jail. He had a heart no, attack. No, no, no. He was he, homeless. He, was he lived in, in child, his car. He was in a child porn, and he went to jail, and then he became a Christian in jail. Then he got out. He was homeless because he couldn't get a job because he's a sex offender. He, like he couldn't get a job anywhere. Right. So he's sleeping in his car, and he wouldn't sleep. Like laid down, he'd like sleep sitting up. And and if you because sleep like that all the time, you get like blood clots or whatever. So then he had a heart attack, and he died. How was he sleeping? <laughs> like sitting up, sitting up in like the oh. in the seat. I'm pointing at oh, the okay. seat. Yeah, like like sitting up in the thing. Oh, like he wasn't yeah. laying down. Okay, so he got blood clots. But I mean, that that seems like the the right progression of things to do. Pedophile, obviously, go to a church. Yeah, here's the thing: if you're gonna be a pedophile, do it earlier rather than later. Knock it out. You know what I mean? Like, just out of the do park. it in your 20s yeah. and your 30s, and then be done with it. And then just, oh, that was my past, you dude, know? I, dude, I, yeah. I, I had a cousin one time that, like, um, my hot. family- Was he hot? Uh, yeah, he was, he, was a, he was a criminal. He was a jail guy. So pretty, oh. pretty ripped. Yeah. So my, my family is not really like, like a church family or whatever. And mm -hmm. then for some reason, I was, I was hanging out with uh, this side of the family. They're like huge on church. And they made me to go to church with them. We went to Shakey's and they went to church with them. Nice. And it was, I think it was one of these like singing ones where they, they like have fun and they run around and they sing and they Oh, like do a Pentecostal church? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Do like cartwheels and shit. So I wanted that. And at the time, my grandma was kind of into Jehovah's Witnesses stuff. And then, so like, that's very like boring compared to this, I guess. Sure. And we, we were like, but to me, it's all like boring. Right. And, and we were like driving home, like my, my, my cousin, this guy who was out of jail for probably like a month and he mm -hmm. had barely entered this church. And he was like, "How'd you like the church?" And I was like, it was, "I was like, oh, it was cool. I was being polite." And he was way better than your fucking Jehovah's Witness shit, huh? <laughs> and I was like, "Jesus!" I was like, first of all, I don't care for either of these things." Yeah. And he goes, "Yeah, you know, fucking over here, we have fun. You should come more often." He was like trying to press me into going to being. Sounds open. like he's threatening you. Yeah, and then we're like driving, and then like so it's like awkward, and then he he's like trying That's to make just the accent, Josh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was scared when you were saying that. So Josh I thought it was. Knows. <laughs> I thought it was Josh, knows. he's from San Diego. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have Mexican friends. And so then, and <clears throat> me too. <laughs> I knew Mexicans. Yeah, yeah. And we're like driving home. You and saw them <laughs> around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're like <clears throat> driving home, and, and he's like trying to make small talk. And this was like, uh, so what kind of music you like? And I, I, I'm like, this guy's a gangster, you know. I'm like, let me. He's bald head, big white shirt. I'm like, oh, I like. Um, Eminem, trying to impress him, and he goes, "Ah, the devil's music." I'm like, "Asshole, you were in jail. You beat somebody up to death. Like, what the? F you almost killed a guy, you fucking dick." Dude, that's the thing. He's got to be like, "That was the past me. The yeah, new well, me believes in devil's music. Believes that the devil makes music, and, yeah, it's, so like, and it's Marshall Mathers." And I, I always feel like people, are like not all like religious people, like there's religious people like you. But then there's some that are just trying to like bully people into fucking church or mm -hmm. into like this shit. That's the thing, man. I don't. I think like church is good, but I would never be like, you just gotta go to church. And then there's yeah. Jews because they're like, what? No, no, you yeah. can don't you, yeah. you do your own thing. Well, that's because they don't want more people to be Jews. They're like, listen, I know. Don't that's freaking what, that's stay, that's get, I, stay the hell I out of here. I want to convert, dude, because they they don't want me so bad. Yeah, that'd like, be like, like 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 that one thing where like a chick, <laughs> they're the cool kids. Yeah, dude. Who are those guys? No, they're so exclusive. <laughs> with, with their big hats. Dude, I do want to talk to them when I'm going through Williamsburg. I just want to chat with them. They won't talk like, to you. They I know. You. I know, dude. I know. But what if I said, like, you know, something in Hebrew? Shalom or They'll something. They'll be so mad. They'll be like, what are you saying? Dude, dude, I saw one on the train, which is also very rare. Mm -hmm. uh, give give change to a homeless person. Wow. Which That's was like, like two insane. rare things. Yeah, I told Kiwi about it. Kiwi, our Jewish friend. we got to have Kiwi on. 
a Jewish homie, and he was he was like, uh, that is rare. Yeah, that's incredibly rare. Mm. That's on a, on the um, train, like like full like like a uh, full garb. Yeah, like what is it full guard? Garb. Garb. Oh, garb. <laughs> yeah, garb. Dude. dude, like in on the train and giving out a change. I was like, this is crazy. I've never seen. Dude, you should have made a wish. That's like a shooting star. Oh yeah. You should have wished for something. Yes. Yeah, You'll exactly. see, one day I'm going to go on the train. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give money to homeless people. Yeah. He's like, my parents would hate me for doing this. Like, that's his version of rebellion. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, gave, I gave money away to a non-Jew. Now, are you are you from a religious upbringing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I grew up going to church my whole life. Did you, what and was... You, you loved it, right? What? And you loved it? Yeah, I like church. Oh, there you go. Yeah. What was the most rebellious phase or thing that you ever did or had? When I when I I dated a non Christian girl for like nine months underground like secret I didn't tell my parents. How old were you? I was a senior in high school, so I was like seventeen, eighteen. Is that who turned yeah, you off? pretty big. That's what blew you. Pretty big time. So that's what blew you. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Can he? So he got blown by a non Christian. You go, hey, yeah, I know. You got, got close. You're going to hell, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what, that was my most rebellious time because I didn't tell. I couldn't tell my parents otherwise. They would legitimately be like, "Hey, we need, you need to move schools." Like really? they probably well, I moved schools all the time growing up, so to them it wasn't like a big deal to just move schools. Yeah, like I never moved my house, but I went to like five or six different schools growing up. Oh, so you like had, all through huh. high school. You had a lot of friends. Uh, I didn't. Not a lot of crossover between those, but okay. like not not a lot I guess held it's hard on. To restart, but because yeah. my main friend group was like based in church. Yeah. So like my school friends were like always separate. I had a few that I held on to, but like most of them were. You were like go, over. you were like a like a great kid to your parents, right? Like you didn't get in trouble. Like, I never got in trouble. No, my parents completely trusted me. That's how I could get away with it. I'd just be like, "Hey, I'm going to my buddy John, my buddy John's house." Were and you they'd full be like, of, "Okay." Were you full of like adrenaline and just like scared when this was happening, or was it like hot to you? Like, mm, I think those are kind of the same thing. I mean, yeah, I guess that's what I meant. But yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it would. Like, they got pretty was, casual. Was there ever any guilt? Was it sexy or was your blood pumping? <laughs> 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 was it hot and heavy or was it like pretty warm and weighty? And you're like, <laughs> you're like, ah, I feel like those are pretty similar. <laughs> pretty pretty warm and weighty, I guess. I don't know. Were you ever like filled with guilt? Yeah, that's ultimately why I broke up with her. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because huh. I, was, I was hanging out with her at her place and I called my dad because I was like, hey, uh, this girl and I want to go up to Santa Monica on Monday. Uh, and they, your parents didn't know her. My, no, they knew her. They oh, knew her, and they, they knew they that thought, I liked her, but they didn't think we were dating. And so he said, right. "Okay, you can go up with her, but like you're just friends, right? You're just friends." Hmm. And we've been dating for like nine months. And I was like, "Yep, just yeah, just going up as friends, just doing that." And my dad was like, "All right, I trust you. All right." He's like smiley over the phone or whatever, and then he hangs up, and I hung up, and I just started crying, and I broke up with her. Okay. Because I was like, I was like, I my dad trusts me so much, and I'm just completely lying to them. And yeah, so I, dude, so you started crying tell them about that. Yeah. Oh, about like dating her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they know about that. W was it the first time you ever cried in front of her? No, no, I cried a lot. That's how they met. Her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was crying just alone, and yeah. she. I guess, no, he, I guess he, it was the he was doing the classic, go to the party and sulk in the corner. Dude, oh, yeah. we we did meet at a party. Instead of going to homecoming, like a group of friends had like a separate party, and I met her at that party okay. my senior year. All right. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Not a lot of crying up top. Yeah. But you know, in the middle there was. Um, she she gave me. <laughs> she, <laughs> like two months in, she said like like she tried to end it. We were always off on and off again. Like so the, as, so as high school it, relationships are. It wasn't healthy. No, it definitely was not it. healthy. It was healthy. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't healthy. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> we'll, I'll come back here. I'll be back. We'll make out. <laughs> I'll come back. We'll make out. We'll be back. We'll make out. Uh, so uh, we were at this party and uh, <laughs> we were having a good time. And so, so wait, well, oh yeah, like like two months into the relationship, yeah. she tried to like end it one time, and she's like, you know the phrase, it's not you, it's me. And I was like, no, don't say that. She's like, well, it's not me, it's you. Uh, and I was like, wow, that was out of, that was out of left field. Oh <laughs> that man, hit, that hit pretty was hard. Was this before or after she blew you? Uh, I, I, I maybe before. I don't know. Huh. During. She's During, like, <laughs> yeah, she's like, it's not me, it's you. Yeah, it's More specifically, me. your penis. It's disgusting, <laughs> and we're gonna need to, <laughs> we're gonna need to call it. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't fight her on that. I'd be like, yeah, for sure, I get that. Oh yeah. man, dude, and you, you still talk to her? 
Or like you cut ties with her. And shit. We're friends. You're friends. Yeah, we're friends. Oh, there you I go. Mean, we didn't talk for like a number of years. But, yeah, but we're friends now. She's like living with the with living with the guy. She's yeah, she's a friend of mine. That's that's um, we're tight. That's incredible, dude. Yeah, pretty incredible with the forgiveness of I, religion. I don't know. I don't we say. can, we you we all men ties. <laughs> dude, to me, like church people right? that are so deep in it, kind of seems like a cult. Sure, yeah, it definitely can be a cult. It's very dogmatic at certain points. People are like, "You just don't do that," and it's like, "Why?" Kind of chill about it, though. You seem like one of the more, one of the m- more well-rounded religious people. Yeah, I've never, I've, I've never met anybody like you that's so into the church and also so out, out and about in the world like this. Oh well, yeah, because I mean, there's a lot of um, I like Christian people. I like what Christian people believe, and we connect on a deep fundamental level. But also. Um, they suck. There's a lot of inauthenticity, <laughs> and I like people who are completely. I got group going to private Christian school, and I hated that because there's a bunch of people who are saying they're Christian and then they're not acting like it. Yeah, and that drove me insane. I liked public school because there's a bunch of people being like, "Oh, we don't think God's real," and they were living like it. And I was like, "Thank you, yeah, for being honest." Yeah. I, I and think- I like that more because non Christians are not as hypocritical as Christians are. Because Christians yeah. are like, that's wrong, don't do that. And But we all do it. They pick yeah. and choose. There, there's a lot of picking and choosing, and there's a lot of not admitting of like sh- struggles or sins because you want to look like a good person. Why do they say but, pick and choose? It's the same thing. I pick, and not only do I pick, I choose. <laughs> I, I choose. I choose. <laughs> <Seinfeld. laughs> what is the deal with the pick and the choose? Dude, this, this not is not only do I pick, I, I choose. choose. So he puts his hand on his say, but I don't, don't. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> dude, this way, that's why I think you're so funny too, dude. Because you're like the honesty and and what you just said. Like you're so involved in the church, but you all, you also see like the phoniness in it, dude. Oh yeah, well it's, it's not the church and it's not God that's fake. It's the people because people. Right, yeah, Because yeah. I, I think everyone well, sucks. Everyone's yeah. bad. Like everyone, I think is fundamentally bad. So Christians do stuff that's bad, and I'm not surprised by it. But I am but, perturbed. Why I'm annoyed. You, why do you think God? Uh, made us all fundamentally bad. No, Instead he didn't of, make us all fundamentally bad. He made us fundamentally good. Then why are we all bad? Well, because that's what sin is. That's what like Adam and Eve and the eating of the fruit. Like that's what that was. We talked about this on the first episode. That yeah, I did. Frankie hated it. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm trying to stay away from his particular religious talk because I know you'll fall right asleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even that sentence, you were like. Well, yeah. you used multisyllabic words. I'm gonna. I'm done. Well, in my head, all I'm thinking is, what if God was one of us? <laughs> That's Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Je- yeah. That would be Jesus. And there's a whole book about that. Dude, have you heard of the beginning of that song? Somebody be my bitty bow bow. Be my bitty bow. That's how it starts. What? Yeah, that's no, that's at jumbotrons at baseball games when nah. they put the baseballs under the hats and then they're moving them around. No, no, yeah. dude, it's, it starts. Yeah, have you heard that song? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, then the, and then that part ends, and then the girl's like, "What if God was one?" Of that's a real us? left turn in that song. And I'm like, "What is this?" <laughs> that's how they get idiots like you to be interested. <laughs> <laughs> they start. They start. <laughs> And you're like, wow, this is fun. And then, <laughs> and then they're like, all right, now it's got, and you're like, I got bamboozled. <laughs> what the hell? And, that, Jesus. and that's what Christians are. All right, now listen, just play that, got, got. play that part again. <laughs> Jesus, uh, you're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you're saying. That's what all the Christian community is. A bunch of idiots, idiots that got God. Yeah, we got God, dude. We got God, and yeah. we got God, and He's got God. 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 God is on our side. Yeah. Josh Creed and everybody. I know we're running long here. This, yeah, this a little this, bit. Yeah, dude. We're at one oh, uh, one oh seven. Well, thanks for coming on the pod, Josh. <laughs> yeah, you got anything to plug coming up? Of course not. But just plug in your live, Instagram. I, I live in a sto- I live in Astoria. <laughs> Book me, please. <laughs> Please, um, you got any projects? No projects. Don't, like, don't force them to say that. Dude. I don't have anything. You want to say what you're not on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, really, nothing. <laughs> there are a ton of shows in New York. I'm not on any of them. Um, you want to tell everybody how empty your schedule is? <laughs> yeah, I'm wide open, folks. I know a lot yeah. of bookers listen to this, so yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, they don't contact when us. People ask, when people ask me for a tape, I'm just going to send a clip of this. <laughs> just in the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, check it out. It's an hour 10. I know you asked for five minutes. Uh, Josh, I only watched 43 minutes of this. Yeah, I'm going to be exactly. honest. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's pretty good. I couldn't good. take it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> kind of dragged at certain yeah. points. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got nothing to plug in. Josh Creed and Comedy on Instagram. But cool. 
But you also you don't, don't post anything. Yeah. No, I don't post anything. I don't I don't even, I'm trying to get into like guy. reels and stories and stuff. Like I, I'm, I have ideas of, to make stuff, but I'm right. so I cringe so much at just me making content. Yeah, I hate it. Well, so well, that goes back to the being cool thing. Do what feels right to you. Yeah. No, don't don't try to like do what other people are doing and shit. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It all, it all comes back full circle. Yeah, all I'm right, not folks. gonna start that OnlyFans. We got a okay. real underscore POW. A real we're piece of work. Our, a, a real, real piece. Pow. A real piece of work, and we're putting out sketches there now, and uh, they're funny, and so go watch them. And, and subscribe uh, to this. You got time to subscribe to this? Or was yeah. It? No. And I got <laughs> and I got a roast next month. <laughs> yeah, this guy's got a roast. Oh, uh, when's this coming out? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, fucking! I'm in Boston, June 10th. Everybody, wow. And then I'm coming, and then I'm being California. I got nothing in California, June first to eighth. So if you're listening from out there and you got shows and shit, can I be on it, please? <laughs> can I do some time? <laughs> and then, uh, and then I think that's it. That's oh it. fuck! Oh yeah, and I'm the shows I'm on are on tonight. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. This is, has been, this is has been, the Keep On Trucking Podcast. Yeah. Are you calling me a racist?